What is happening, everyone? Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for clicking on the video. The video. <laughs> There's a D in there. Thank you for clicking on the video uh, and clicking on the thumbnail, seeing it, and clicking on the video coming on through. Today, we are going to listen to Bill Nelson's Red Noise. We're going to listen to the first two tracks off of the album Sound on Sound, released 1979. That's going to be Don't Touch Me, I'm Electric and Four Young Moderns. Uh, this album... More stuff from Bill Nelson, Bebop Deluxe related, has been recommended to me. This was one of the highest uh, recommended like albums, songs to look at and such. So I just figured let's go ahead and give it a listen, you know? A lot of people have also recommended... Honestly, I think people have recommended every single album from Bebop Deluxe. Drastic Plastic, Futurama, I think was the other one. There's, there's a lot. And then Nelson Solo stuff. There's so much. <laughs> So let's just go ahead and start here. Uh, let's go ahead and skip up a little bit. Listen to the first two tracks on Red Noise. I'm excited to get into it. It was not on Spotify, so I'm using YouTube. And there were not a lot of YouTube rips of the album. Which makes me think that it's either not very well known, or there wasn't a lot of distribution, perhaps. I don't know. But regardless, let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, this is Bill Nelson's Red Noise. We'll probably just let these two tracks lead into each other. The first one is only about two minutes long. Good. I lied. I actually want to talk about it real quick. <laughs> okay. Uh, one an electric opener. That's for sure. You can't blame him on that. That riff is... It reminds me a lot of Devo, to be honest. It, it just sounds like it's breaking down and broken down and kind of cut to the bare essence. But I like how frantically energetic it is and yet controlling that chaos. Like, it's fun. It's extremely fun. Definitely lives up to the electrifying nature of the music there. Even Nelson himself kind of sounds very, like, disoriented. Like, he, he sounds like he's just fragmented and just yelling. It reminds me of, like, King Crimson a little bit. I guess New Wave does have a little bit, sometimes, of that industrial kind of sound. Like, it can, depending on which way it's leaning. And I think it's leaning very heavily and hard here. That's cool. That's a cool opening there. Lyrics, there's not much to go into. Hey, I said what you doing. I'm the kind of person you could really ruin. Don't touch me, don't touch me. I'm electric. You can hold the wires, but don't blow the fuse. <laughs> there's something something else that I could use. Don't touch me, I'm electric. I'm a real live wire. Oh, baby, I'm on fire. I'm a real live wire. I'm a generator, a human dynamo. I've got the ACDC, ACDC. I've got the fast and slow. Don't touch me, I'm electric. Well, you touch him, you're going to get a little bit of static shock. That's for sure. <laughs> Catch a little static. Uh, let's just go ahead and move on into the next track there, uh, which is for Young Moderns. Let's go.
so squirmy. This could have definitely been a hit. good musical writing around the themes from what I can tell of the lyrics because the lyrics as far as I can tell when I was reading over them is almost like he feels out of place slightly in this new modern world and that this is a world for for young moderns as it's entitled it's a world for them and things are changing and he's trying to keep up with them but he doesn't quite feel it and I think that the music kind of captures that that new age not new age music but that that turning of technology because once again, this kind of leans into that industrial mechanical movement in the music from the way the guitar is especially riffing and the drums and just the music as a whole. There's that a strong kind of electronic digital element to it, but that's most captured by the keyboards and <laughs> the synthesizer, which is going to be Clark on there uh, from Bebop Deluxe, of course. And I really like that piano solo at the end because, correct me if I'm wrong, but it sounds a little bit out of tune. <laughs> it sounds like a saloon tune, but a saloon out of tune tune, uh, <laughs> which I kind of feel is like that older generation trying to move with the new, trying to keep up with the technology and trends changing and, you know, cultures changing. Uh, I feel like that's why the, the piano at the end kind of sounds out of place and maybe out of tune and maybe why they chose, at least in my ears, almost like a saloon style sound with that because it doesn't quite fit in with the modern movement. And that's not criticizing and stereotyping all older generations. I'm just saying, you know, typically the old looks at the new and like, Ew. <laughs> you know, that's just like a, a kind of cycle that happens. That's just, that's just timely and generational that happens. Uh, but otherwise, like the groove in here was really fun. Definitely more full of a sound than the previous electric track, but still just as like, just as interesting. But I found those synths like the best part of this i really like clark when he's playing these squirmy synthesizers through the music <laughs> it just sounds so fun and i feel like he's having a blast just coming up with these sounds and playing them and putting them through all the things he's doing and integrating them into the music as he does the lyrics here the old world is bone is <laughs> the old world is burning there's ice in my veins your breath it inflames me it fills me with flames it's a brave new world for young moderns. It's a zero hero euro lifestyle. It's a brave new world for young moderns. It's a novo, a go go gone wild. The empire is falling. There's a storm on my brain. Your eyes, they explore me. They fill me with pain. Repeats the chorus. 
Brave New, Brave New World for boys and girls. It's a Brave New World, Brave New World for boys and girls. The times are alarming. There's a clock in my heart. Your touch is electric. It fills me with sparks. So perhaps he's kind of like what I said. He's trying to connect with the younger generations. And maybe it's, there, there's something that's not quite connecting. He says there's a clock in his heart. His, his The times are alarming. So he feels like perhaps he's near the end of his life in a sense as well. Or at least it's the end of an era. But at the same time, he says that your touch is electric. It fills me with sparks. So perhaps he's actually getting energy and seeing uh, these the, the youth and you know the modern people and how they're you know how they're changing things. Perhaps it's actually giving him energy and giving him life in a sense. My mouth is a desert. There's a palm in my hand. Your kiss is a mirage. It fills me with sand. Or maybe he's not getting anything from it. Maybe it looks good to him, but it doesn't have any any content or meat to it. It's a brave new world for young moderns. It's a flickering of the digital wrists. It's a brave new world for young moderns. It's a killer if you try to resist. Don't try and resist it. The new world is coming. <laughs> it always does, eventually. Time keeps on moving. Generations keep on revolving and moving around each other. It's just going to keep on going one after the other. It's an eternal game of timely leapfrog, if you will. Anyways, <laughs> let me know what you guys thought of the two tracks. Thank you for the suggestion as well. You can let me know your thoughts in the comments below. You can follow me on Twitter. You can support myself in the channel on Patreon. Hope you enjoy the music. That's it. I'll see you all later. Bye. <laughs>